This whole Assassin's Creed Shadows by having a black protagonist, which I don't think is a big deal, whether it's yellow, black, white, brown, red, green, it doesn't matter what color the, the uh, main character is. But what you gotta understand is the samurai culture is very sacred to the Japanese people. It, it, it's part of their culture, it's part of their history, it's part of where they come from. So on the Ubisoft Japan YouTube page, when you look at the trailer of Assassin's Creed Shadows on that YouTube page, and you see the comments of all the Japanese people that wrote in Japanese and then you translate it to English, they're all pissed off because the main character was said to be black. So you have that going on on that side, right? You got Japanese people super pissed that their culture is being disrespected by having the main character as black, right? On the Western side in this world, you have people like, oh, uh, if why are you guys complaining? It's racism if you think it's not okay to have a black thing, a black uh, hero, and other people saying, no, it should be an Asian character because it's a samurai thing, blah, blah, blah. But my thing is, this is all a distraction so that you don't pay attention to how much they're actually charging you guys for the game. The screenshots on the screen right now, $130 is what's being charged for the Ultimate Edition. That's what people are usually going to buy because of all the cool little perks that you get with. This whole thing about the black protagonist and Japan's pissed and Westerns like this, it's all a distraction to get you to friggin' not think about the price they're charging you. How much money they're going to take from you to sell this game. And they're selling this with not even friggin' uh, showing anything of gameplay features at all. Not one gameplay trailer was shown at all, and they're already selling this, and you can pre-order it for 130 bucks for the Ultimate Edition. That's what you guys need to think about, because here, put it this way. If it was a Japanese main hero, a, a, a Japanese protagonist as the main hero in the Assassin's Creed Shadows, there'd be no drama talking about that part and everyone's momentum and focus would shift to the price and roasting the price. But instead of that happening, now we have the black protagonist and now all of our momentum is focused, is shif shifted to that drama and we're not even paying attention to how much, they're pr uh, the, how much price that they're gonna offer this game to us. And that's the main issue. That's what people need to think about. That's what 4D chess is. That's how video game developers and companies play 4D chess. They get you to think about something else and at the main time, their real mission is to get you to sell, buy this thing for $130 at that price. When you don't even know if the game is gonna be good or not, there's no gameplay footage, we can't tell because gamers, gamers can clearly tell right away. As a good gamer, you can tell just by watching something on the screen of gameplay footage, you can tell if this game is going to be good or not, and you can tell if this is a game that you're going to play or not. Every gamer knows this. We can see it visibly and then make our judgment right there. But they didn't even show us any gameplay footage. They showed us a cinematic trailer, which was meant... A cinematic trailer is meant to look better than it actually is with all the sound effects they use, graphics they use, all the camera angles and cuts and different cuts and scenes of the cinematic trailer that's meant to bring you in it's meant to trick you gameplay footage is what really matters and that should be decided whether you like it or not but at the same time they already have this pre-order ready 130 bucks and these are for the die-hard assassin's creed fans and while japan is being pissed at the fact that there's not a main hero that's Japanese, and why the Western world is also being pissed at the fact and controversial. Some people saying it's racist if you don't accept it. Some people saying it's disrespectful to Japanese if you put a black protagonist there. Some people are looking up the history of this character and be like, hey, he was a real samurai. Some people are like, well, guess what? He wasn't that good of a samurai. He was given a sword or this or that. He was a monk or this. I don't know, it doesn't matter. This stuff doesn't matter because it's a distraction. All a distraction to get you to not understand that the game is going to be good or not and to get you to not realize what the price of the game is being offered at. 130 bucks for this game. This is supposed to be, what is this, a AAA game? Now they're freaking turning it into quadruple A with this amount of price. We have to pay this much to get joy out of video games now.
And not one person out there is actually focusing on that fact as how much the price is of this game. We are now instead fighting each other. That's what they want us to do, fight each other over and over again with, with, amongst ourselves about whether it's right or not. Whether it's right or not to have the hero as a black protagonist or not. I say I doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Show me gameplay footage. Show me what this game's really about. Show me one person going from the introduction stage of the game and completing the first level and show me all the features. Then I will decide whether the game's good or not. Then you'll realize it doesn't matter if really the protagonist is this color or not. Then is you're gonna realize that after all this fighting and drama that we did, we just gave it free publicity and gave it free marketing while freaking Ubisoft himself didn't have to do anything about it. There's like some secret agenda in there in the game where the, where the senior uh, the, the senior writer of the game or whatever the hell it is put out some email about some DEI that's needed in the video games nowadays. DEI this and DEI that. That's fine. Put all the much DEI you want. But if the game's not good enough, I'm not going to buy it. And then the bottom line is you don't make your sale Ubisoft and you don't get that money and you don't make enough sales to say back in Kotaku articles or games spot articles or whatever article IGN saying, yeah, we reached our goal sales. That's all it's about, guys. Just selling the game and getting that. And this distraction is perfect. This is perfectly crafted by Ubisoft themselves to distract you. Put that... Put the, pretend there's a parallel universe. Put yourself in that timeline. Put yourself in this timeline right now. I want you to think about it. Right now, the whole craze is about the hero's color, the skin color, right? Put yourself in another timeline where the hero of Assassin's Creed Shadow is Japanese. Put yourself in that timeline. What would we be talking about right now if, if that was the case where the hero was Japanese? What would be our buzz on, on, on Twitter and YouTube? It's the price of the game. That's what it's gonna be. We're gonna be roasting the hell, the fact that this is $130. US, I'm assuming, yeah, because I'm in Canada. I'm, I'm, the screenshot's US money, right? I'm, I'm assuming, $130 US. That is insanity. Literal insanity for a friggin' video game that you just need to friggin' have the online connection to install the game that everything else can be offline. So it's not even like, it's just a one-time offline game, $130 US. That's what we'd be roasting and talking about if the main hero was Japanese. But since Ubisoft is so genius in the way they do things, they knew, they knew to friggin' create some drama or some sort of mishap in the friggin' trailer or something to get people pissed off and talking about a red herring. It's a red herring. Red, her red herrings are done by everybody all the time. To, to distract you from the real cause and issue of this is the actual price that's being offered at $130 US. That's what we've come to now. Distracting the people, because they know everything's gonna be blown up on Twitter, on YouTube, content creators, tweets, tweets this, tweets that. Some people wanted to you know, distract. That's all it is, it's all it is. That's what the Stellar Blade thing was. That's what it was for Stellar Blade, the exact same thing. Get you to talk about the censorship and not actually realize that the game's probably trash. Why are you even playing this game? They got you to buy the game because you're friggin' sitting there supporting something that the kids and teenagers think there's a part of, but really they're not. They're just a friggin' test tube, uh, a test uh, thing going on where they just want you to buy the goddamn thing and once they get that initial sale, done. You're forgotten about. It's always been like that, and that's what exactly it is for this Assassin's Creed Shadows. That's my thought about it. And of course, this way of thinking is hard for most YouTuber watchers to comprehend. They don't want to do this. It's too hard to think of this way because you don't want to. People just on YouTube, like especially the kids and teenagers and young adults, they want the simple thinking. They want, oh, Ubisoft is bad, and they put a black protagonist to disrespect the Japanese culture. And then the other side is, well, if you're not wanting a black protagonist, that means you're racist. We need more diversity in the games, and this is good. That's what, that's the main simple thinking. What I bring into this whole YouTube thing and this video is to give you the four chess way give you the always think of that way like what's to take a step back and think of what's really going on here and it's done on purpose to get you distracted and to get you to think about this and worry about that when under your nose they're getting away with charging 130 us dollars for this stupid game which they showed no gameplay footage of whatsoever 
if it was my perfect world, I'd ban cinematic trailers. And I'd say, if it was my perfect world and I was an, an, the owner of video game industry, my friggin' rule would be, if you're gonna release a game to the public, gameplay footage. I wanna see the first stage or something of the first stage. That's it, gameplay footage. And if we all saw gameplay footage right from the beginning, we as gamers would completely and easily understand whether this game is for you or not, and whether this game is gonna be popular or not. We would know right away. And, and that's all I want to bring to you guys to think about that. Think about the 4D chess and the real reason behind this. Everything is for a reason. Nothing's by mistake. You think they didn't talk about this in their little private rooms in Ubisoft? Like, hmm, this is going to cause this. This is going to cause commotion to the Japanese uh, culture. This is going to... They thought about all this. We, they discussed everything. And at the end of the day, it was done to create a distraction so you don't understand that it's 130 thirty dollars us and that's the real crime in this issue that's, that's the real crime is the price that they're offering the ultimate edition to before they show gameplay footage now think about that